Previously on Mind Scanner. Hey guys, uh, really quick before we start the, well, before we play the video, I, I have to own up to something. I screwed up. I screwed up badly. <laughs> Disregard me looking like crap for a second. I screwed up the audio, so the game audio didn't get recorded, but I finished the game. Yeah. So this video technically doesn't have any game audio, but my mic and everything works. So I'm gonna use the soundtrack from the game and kind of fill in the space. But forgive me if you don't hear the, you know, the little boops and baps that were so used. I'm sorry, I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But enjoy, you know? I'm just, just putting that out there, just being honest. All right, well, enjoy the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mind Scanners, the Moonrise edition. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. Today's news. With Wall Day approaching, wall sales have begun, and devoted citizens have been working hard to decorate the walls with tools, video screens, and cables. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump back to this person and let's see how far we get. If you don't mind me asking, which one of my books are your, is your favorite? If you had to choose, of course. One, Exiles from the Zoglyph Temple, or two, Blast Off, a Bagheer's General Dick Cobalt adventure. I would say the Exiles? Likes a mystery, I see. I have to say, the day I came up with that plot twist, one of my proudest moments. What did you think? I got the chills. Quite something, no? You see, the- oh my god, you are gonna talk about your book. You see, the archaeologist had traveled not through space, but through time. Oh, that worked out well. Okay, thank you. Um, I believe I still have all of your stuff here, so we're just gonna go ahead and begin treatment. All right, let's freeze time immediately. All right, perfect. Now I can plan out of things a little bit better. Let's go with this one. I think it's... There we go. Um, this looks like that one, and then we just gotta make it spiky. Perfect. We can get away with one more. Let's do these two since they're placed together. Change the type of light to this. Turn off the left eye. Change the type of light to X. All right, personality time. Um, we want to go over to this direction. And then, there we go. And now we can switch this. Set frequency to 85. Turn off, turn on the left eye, excuse me. Change the type of light to O. Um, okay, switch this. What do we have here? It looks like a triangle, so I guess this. And then semi-spiky. I think this is it. And once again, the timing. There we go. And let's move this. What? It sounds like a frequency difference, but I can't pinpoint it. Okay. And you're this one. So once again, the triangle symbol, making it spikier. Or I was wrong. I can't get this one wrong. There we go. There you go, Lewis. There. Well, it's a brave new world. I guess I'm going to have to work a little harder to make things up. But that's why they call it work, right? Seems like you're all right. I'm not, I'm not seeing Wreath. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Don has taken his job as a security guard a little too seriously, tenants fear. We went through this before. He was an easy fix. I'm not touching Wreath, you can't make me. Sorry, not sorry. I know people are probably curious on like what happens if you comply and go with him, but I just don't feel comfortable with that. <laughs> you have received a package from Mr. Zinsky. It's his latest book. Gladiators of Hillwalk, Crescent V. Right. You flip open the first page. The ox dagger is a treacherous weapon. If handled well, it can penetrate even the sturdiest lizard scale cuirass, but strike at the wrong angle and it breaks at the hilt. Not unlike the swordmaster herself, Gianna noted strong, limbal, and a single purpose. I didn't understand quite well, but sure. It talks about time travel, yeah. And then there's Wreath being Wreath. And of course we have enough time to visit Wreath. I refuse. You can't make me. You watched a season of structure, structural science. It's fucking boring, but you can't stop. Wait, did I say 10 seasons? Call from unknown. Are you the mind scanner responsible for Mr. Del Alazno's treatment? Yes, I am. We're all so happy for him here in the building. And for us, no hassle, no mood swings. He's all you ever want from a security guard now. We scrapped together a little tip for you. Plus three kapoke. Thank you. The Otter's owners would like to speak with you. I will connect you in three, two, one. Hello? This is Vince. I am speaking on the behalf of 20,000 people who are gathered, out, gathered here outside of these lovely city gates. Can you hear me? Not and clear. 
splendid. I need you to listen, and I need you to listen good. There are only 12 zebras left, and none of them are willing to cope. We need a good zebra, or this place will turn ugly. Do you copy? What do you, what do you mean, zebras? Exact the moon note. Now, I need you to be that zebra. Do you think you can do that? I don't know. Great. I heard you have a foul, and she's a special one, isn't she? She even has the power to shut down even the most intricate systems. That my daughter? Yes. Now, let me tell you something. My people have waited 11 years for this moment, ever since I had a vision. A vision of peace. A vision of a better future. A vision of zebras. I'm listening. Kind of. Fantastic. Listening is the most important thing you can do right now. I need you to look your daughter straight in the eyes and tell her to watch for the stripes. Okay. I ain't kidding you. She needs to watch for the stripes and listen for the sounds of time switching on and off. It's a buzzing sound. Can't miss it. Okay, I'm just gonna type in stripes buzzing and listen to the sound of time switching on and off. Time. When the feeling is right, she has to join the sound. She has to swim into it with her own voice. No jumping. She has to swim into it. It's very important. Swim? Maybe I should take a picture of this notepad. You got it, buddy. This will be the path to peace. Now, I wish you the best of luck. Don't let the lions bite your throat. Catch you on the other side. Goodbye, Vince. What was that all about? Anyway, they seem like good people. And more importantly, they will help us take down the structure. We will contact you again when we are ready. I mean, okay. We're gonna go to Miku. Miku has not been herself after the loss of her family. Her friends and colleagues never see her, and she rarely answers their calls. When she does, she talks about time travel. Let's see what's going on with Miku. The mind scanner. My prayers were heard. Listen, you must help me. I know this sounds wrong, but you have to erase my mind. I don't want to feel anything anymore. A few years back, there was a fire. I was working late that day, and when I came home, my husband, my little daughter, and my baby son, they... I'm sorry. Miku takes your hand. Anyway, I can't live like this. I need these memories to go away. I tried. I tried killing myself several times, but somehow the suicide keeps sending me back in time. I know this sounds insane, but it's the truth. Time travel? I don't know how, but I can't kill myself. I'm reliving the same nightmare over and over, again and again, and it's hell. I'm living in hell, do you understand? I need you to erase my feelings, please. I don't... I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, the flames. It's the fire. I can't... Please stop it. It's a traumatic event. Ode Henson Park. I always loved going there, sketching the trees and various plants. It's so meditative. I haven't done it many years. Our panic, our oh, panic, <laughs> our picnic blanket. I remember sitting with Thelma and little Arthur. My husband, Geoffrey, took a picture. I haven't looked at that picture since I, I can't. After losing her family to a fire, Miku has lost the will to live. She has attempted to take her own life several times, claiming she did in fact die each time, but then was sent back in time. Okay, so there's two ways I can do this. I can wipe her, but look, I'm ah, insane. I don't, I don't know what to do with this one. Thank you. Now plug me into your machines. I'm ready to forget everything. I, I don't like this. I, I don't think this is the best course of action. I. Let's just go ahead and treat her and see what happens. Oh my god, you're one of those. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate it. Wow, that was close. Okay. I guess I have the choice. I don't want to really sacrifice her, though. Oh my. Incoming call from the constructor. Oh no. Greetings, mind scanner. As you may have heard, one of your colleagues is a traitor. A mind scanner is helping the terrorist group Moonrise. Of course, we can't have that. I'm scared. Did you know that, within the few months of their existence, Moonrise has killed close to 50 people, including 7 civilians? Their goal is to break open the gates to the Outer Zone. 
They want to save our citizens by removing the very thing that protects us from certain death. The Outer Zone is swarming with dangerous creatures, not to mention the thousand of Outer Zoners waiting to storm our city. Well, you should not have to worry too much. We have the situation under control. I am just contacting all mind scanners to remind them of these facts. If you happen to gather any knowledge of this treacherous mind scanner, please let us know. For normality and the mind. Oh, I'm sweating. He made me sweat. Oh, it's you. I was just thinking of how long it has been since, since I took my husband into my arms. Feels like ages. It's odd how much we need each other. People, I mean. I long for his comfort so much. Comfort. I'm gonna comfort her. You gently lay a hand on her shoulder. She starts to cry, and you let her move into your arms. You stay like this for minutes. With her eyes still closed, she moves up to kiss you. Oh, that's that's weird. That's That's actually pretty weird. But I think she's just using me as a vessel for her husband. Um... You know what, we, we, we consulted people in a different way, so let's just, uh, sure. Her tears run into your mouth as you kiss. Her wet cheeks against yours, her eyes open, reddened from crying. You stare at each other while you feel her breathing into your mouth. That's a little close. That's a little odd, but okay, sure. No way, that thing looks dangerous. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I just realized I have a bomb that I chose to actively ignore. I'm gonna cure her fully without wiping her because I, I want her to see if she just needs to grieve properly. So hopefully I don't regret this. Hopefully she doesn't hate me. I'm alive. The world is alive. There are still good things in this life. My sorrow will never go away, but why should I forever forget my children and my husband? I love them. I want to share my memories of them. Their lives will not fade away with me. I, I will tell everyone what it a beautiful family I, I had. Thank you for letting me see this. I know now that I will get through this. My friends will help me through this. Yeah, you have a lot to live for. You have to continue living for your family. They really want me to deal with Wreath and I just nope. absolutely don't want to. Her talent of penetrating even the most complicated systems has made her Zygnotic's youngest software engineers. Co-workers are concerned about her philosophical thoughts on digital realities. Let's go, because I remember her, and she ended up breaking the game, and I enjoyed it. Damn it, you're a mind scanner, aren't you? Hmm, you might be able to help. Now listen carefully, this city, this whole world, is a constructed reality. I know it sounds crazy, but I think we're inside a game. A game? Yes. It's all a lie. The structure, the outer zone, everything. You have to believe me. I know your job is to treat crazy people, but I'm not crazy. Your job is made up. My job is made up. Someone is controlling us. Someone? Yes. It must be the constructor. That's the player. That's... You're a mind scanner. You can gain access to the constructor. We need to tell the player to stop controlling us and let us go. Talking to the constructor is the only way. Will you help me? Um, I don't remember what I did. I know I ended up talking. Let's... I'll help. Great. I'll set up the call. With your authorization, we can get through the final barrier. Just a sec. Or actually, what I need to do... No, 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 no. I fucked up. I fucked up. Beatrix connects to a small device into your radio phone, then hands a Beatrix dance around the keyboard with elegance as she hacks her way into the gem of the structure. There. All you have to do now is confirm with your own voice. Confirm. What's this now? State your business, mind scanner. Sorry, wrong number. Get your radio phone fixed, scanner. I don't have time for this. Good day. What? No, I'm not crazy. We have to break out of this game. It's time for the scan. Yeah, because I remember correctly, if I go forward with that conversation, I get in trouble. Spending all of her time engulfed in digital construct has led to be a trick to question reality. She started to believe that she and everyone else is living inside a video game. I mean, she isn't lying, so I always like to mark her as sane just to add spice, but I'm pretty sure she ends up taking money from me. Thank you. I'll rescue us from this prison, even if it means hacking the game itself. Hmm, hacking the game? Well, see you around. I don't think I can visit anyone else, so we're gonna end the day here. Sweet, dreamless sleep. Well, that sounds ominous. Oh yeah, this is when Beatrix starts messing with stuff. Console right, testing, testing, minus 10. 
We are making the final preparations for the rescue mission. We will strike on wall day in two days. Your daughter will not become a weapon of destruction. We will rescue her, I promise. And when we do, her pulse will break down the city gates. He claims to be a robot, but even the most untrained eye can see through this act. I don't remember Britta, so we're gonna visit Britta. I remember her face, but I don't remember her story. How did you find me? Can you- Oh yes, I remember her. Let's see if you can really see me. Do I wear glasses or not? Yes, you do. Correct. Hmm. Maybe that was too easy. Let's try again. What color is my hair? It's blonde. That's true. Maybe you can really see me. What's your secret? Are you invisible as well? Or maybe you have some sort of spotting device. Perhaps there's hope yet. Yeah, if I remember correctly, she believes she's invisible to everyone. Problems of self-worth have led Britta to actualize the idea she's invisible to other people. Yeah, I'm gonna declare her insane and then we can get her back on track. I know you can see me, but trust me, no one else can. I really hope you have a machine that can make me visible again. Yep, don't worry, we'll help you out. It is all in your mind anyway. I don't like these combination of tools, but we shall see. That took longer than usual. One, two. That's clearly two. Three. No, one. Oh, fudge the goals. Okay. All right, so we technically have two days. So the day is ending now. Oh, Beatrix. Game data manager dot instance. Add Capoke 20. So I realized I didn't react to Beatrix, you know, totally hacking my game here. Um, but we encountered this previously in a, a previous playthrough. Basically, she's finding herself, deleting it, and removing herself from the game. So we're just going to go ahead and cut to after what happens. Which is actually nothing. It just ends the day. I really don't see the negatives of allowing her to kind of do what she needs to do. This is Grace Roberts, owner of Zigtronics. Our most prized employee, Miss Mertens, has disappeared. She was last seen in your care. This is an immense loss for our company. You will have to pay. This is not good. Zigtronics has asked for compensation for the disappearance of Beatrix Mertens, your formal patient. Here is a penalty for neglecting your duties. F minus five, Kapoke. Okay. Today's news. Dear citizens of the structure, tomorrow is wall day. Everyone is off duty and everything will be closed. So be sure to do your wall shopping today. So, oh, uh, we get a new person now? Really? Okay, so I will finish with Britta, and I think that will be it for our last day, and then we can officially end the moonrise. Alright, I'm still here. Yes, you are. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and skip forward, since she only has three slots anyway, and we can just see how she ends. Plus 15. She is fully cured. Oh, I can see my hands. I'm here again. Let me tell you, it's a strange feeling to be gone and then come back. I have to admit, I was getting used to it, but this is better. Much better. No more hiding. You're welcome, Britta. Uh, we're not going to have time for him, but we can at least take a look into him. Craze comes from a loving home. He's entered the family business of catalog sales for franchise stores and is engaged to his high school sweetheart. He has requested his own diagnosis. Look, can we talk for a second? There's no need for the scan. I'm cuckoo. I'm telling you, I can feel it. How about we just go straight to the treatment? No. Jeez, what a stickler. Lighten up. Alright, you're kind of rude. It's probably pretending. Uh, signal delay on the conference call always happens when I'm about to land a business deal. It's making me nuts, I tell you. Nuts. Overreacting. Lingerie. Hubba hubba. Must be someone's anniversary, if you know what I mean. Boring sex life. Blip, blip, blop, blop. That's what this feels like to me. Like, blop, blop, blop. T tittle, tittle, woohoo. False statement, soul of the poet speaks his mind. False statement. Why are you pretending? Error code 3445. Mind scanner, mind scan inconclusive. Find well shows no measurement sign of, no measurable sign of in, oh my gosh. Find well shows no measurable sign of insanity, apart from the desire to be diagnosed as insane. I mean, honestly, I don't want to really claim something that he isn't. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you sane. I, I just don't see why you're, you're not insane. The dreamer. No treatment needed. Yeah, you're not insane. This is a serious thing. What? No, that's not right. Your machine is broken. You just got to put me back under. I'm telling you. No. 
Hey, don't leave. This isn't right. You're being ridiculous. All right, this is our last day. Time to uh, live through our actions. So, tomorrow's wall day. Do you have anything planned? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Scanner. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. But for the sake of the end of gameplays, we must continue forward. Today's news. Millions have gathered on the streets to celebrate Wall Day. But the atmosphere is so unusually tense. We asked a Wall devotee in the crowd. Never seen so many people on Wall Day. Wow. We're just trying to have a good time, but... Yeah. I don't know what those outer zoners are up to. Who knows? Yeah. Wall Day. Okay. As the numbers count no less than 20,000 outer zoners, the threat of the outside has reached new levels. The constructor states that everything is under control. Nonetheless, this wall day will go down in history. To all of you out there, happy wall day. It's time. I can almost smell the fresh air. Are you ready, Scanner? I'm ready. Then let's tear down these walls. See you at the Zignata Institute. What a way to celebrate Wall Day. Best of luck on your mission, Scanner. Thank you. Let's go. Something about stripes at the tower. This is it. Tonight we'll see the gates come down. The fall of the structure has come at last. Moonrise agents are ready to seal off the room. Once they blow off the generator, we have 10 minutes to get your daughter out before the doors open with a swarm of officials. Okay, any minute now. There it goes. Now, let's go. Godspeed. Thank you. He buzzes you through. You reach the reactor room. Two mine sculptors panic and run to the sealed doors. Mona keeps them in check. On the other side, a team of officials try to break in. Hurry up. Your daughter is lying in her container, eyes closed. All right, time to come clean. I can't guarantee the safety of your daughter. Her powers could kill her if not kept in balance. What do you mean, Mona? But, if we fail to open the gates, we are all dead. Okay, first get her out of that test chamber. Put your hand on the glass. Your daughter opens her eyes and looks straight at you. The ceiling lights begin to flicker. Try to get her energy up. Okay. Hi, it's me. Oh no. Oh no. The room starts to tremble. Your daughter starts to scream as if in pain. The wiring surrounding her begins to snap and crackle. The glass explodes, blowing you and Mona backwards. You get to your feet and pull your daughter out of the container. Is she okay? So far, so good, Scanner. Now, now let's get her outside. Don't worry about the other test subjects. They will be set free once this is over. I, you better. You move through the corridors, sirens, lights flickering. Finally, you get her outside. Miles ahead, you see the great north gates towering. Where am I? I taste metal. I'm here with you. Now or never, Scanner. Tell her to focus all her energy on the gates. I know it's risky, but it's the best chance we've got. Look at your daughter. Your daughter looks at you and smiles. I missed you. She keeps looking at you, smiling. Huh? Zebras? Look at their stripes. What? No! Focus on the gates! Keep looking. So many stripes. Beautiful. Listen. Nice. It sounds... nice. A strange soft buzzing sound fills the air. Slowly it starts taking over the city noise, pushing it away with a bubble of soft buzz. Let me hear your voice. The voice of your daughter floats into the sound. Her voice is beautiful. Swim. A thousand voices joined, both inside and outside the city walls. The gates opened. The structure buzzed and flickered, first at an immense speed, then slowing down to a halt. The structure had shut down. Not a single machine working, yet nothing broke. Everything stood still. The outer zoners walked slowly through the gate, open gates. People joined Moonrise and the outer zoners, and peacefully rose against the regime. 
Now with most officials bringing lifeless robots and all zygnotic weapons rendered useless, the constructor gave up without any struggle. The Faraday programming was shut down, and the test subjects were released. It would take years to rebuild society, but it quickly proved stronger than its predecessor. Anxiety went down during these years, and those who suffered from traumas of the past were offered the best care. This included the constructor, who was treated successfully and hired as a city planner with great success. A lot more resources were put into the mind scanner programming. Now, branding of people was a thing of the past, and with the new mind hospital, people seeking help were in good hands. With the gates gone forever, the outer zone extended to the heart of the structure. The new bond with the outer zoners seemed to benefit both sides of the wall. You and your daughter live in peace, along with the other carriers of the Pulse, she helped build a society in balance. Good job, Mind Scanner. Thank you. The end. I have to say this is by far the best ending we've achieved to our parents. Great job, guys. And the Outer Zone developed this, apparently. Published by Brave at Night. But I think this would be our official last playthrough of mind scanner i think this is the best one we've achieved everyone seemed to win and there were no deaths and we honestly this is the best we could have gotten thank you again guys so much for joining me on this adventure i appreciate all of your comments and help and all advice um and i can't wait to see you in the next game till next time guys enjoy your credits i will see you in the next episode and this looks like my stats for the entire game if anyone was curious uh, preferred vo uh, device was apparently the decoder. Good zebra ending. Okay. But I spent 42 days on the Moonrise playthrough. I only got 23 scans. Treated 20. Ford declared sane. Interesting. Beatrix deleted herself from the game, so she actually doesn't count.